what is our ultimate goal with regards specifically to the People's Republic of China, our, our attitude towards it? Should, be, should it be a, a Reagan-like attitude, which is just a, my shorthand for what Gallagher and Pottinger are proposing, where we, we wish to see a kind of collapse internally of Chinese Communist Party control? Is it, is it not that? Is it something else? Do we need to decide in order to fill the vision that you propose? Just help, help us think that through. Well, first, I would quarrel with the notion that Ronald Reagan's policies were meant to bring about the collapse of the Soviet Union. That simply is not true. He sought to contain, as his predecessors had all successfully done, Soviet power and influence, especially in Europe. Now, it is true that the collapse came on, not during his terms in office, but back to the, the foreign affairs piece, they seem to believe, both fair-minded and, and good people who care deeply about our country, that victory entails regime change in China. And if you set that as the standard, an analyst has to ask, how likely is that? And does its mere expression when it doesn't occur, make us look weak. And by the way, what's its effect on our allies in Asia, beginning with the Japanese, who want to ensure, as I said before, that China doesn't topple, disrupt, destroy these conventions, these free and uh, open conventions across many domains, and that we prevent that. And that's essentially, I believe, the, the objective. I'm not, I'm not a big, a fan, big fan of applied history, and especially of the phrase Cold War II, because I think if you look at it, it's so different, the China challenge, than the Soviet challenge was. But in any case, in any case, and we can't use the word containment because, again, our allies will be repulsed by the bumper sticker. But what we want is to balance Chinese power. That's what we want. And in that, to deter them and prevent them from endangering, threatening, even weakening our vital national interests. And I do not see where regime change fits into that, and its very pursuit, I think, it would be contrary to those objectives, because no one will join us. No one in Asia and Europe will join us with that objective. No one.